Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Under the guidance of Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam. Let's start with the Sadguru Vandanam. Nityanandam Paramasukanam Kevalam Jnanam Urtim Dvandvatitam Gaganasadusham Tattamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshibhutam Let's go through the disclaimers. Security measures. No photography, video, audio, recording. Important cautions. Please be aware of the important cautions. What is spa manifestation? Let's hear from Bhagwan himself explaining what is spa manifestation. All the 25 states of consciousness, when they happen in you due to your chemicals and hormones, ups and downs, it is powerlessness. When it happens in you out of your free will and consciousness, it is powerfulness, that's all. When you fall into sleep, it is powerlessness. When you enter into sleep, it is powerfulness. When you fall into dream, it is powerlessness. When you decide to dream, it is powerfulness. So I have added the ultimate powerfulness Turiyatita Turiyatita in your whole being and doing manifest all the powers. Understand, power manifestation is nothing but cognitive shift. It is not work. It is cognitive shift. Understand? It is just cognitive shift. It's not work. Work is a four-letter word. <laughs> Power manifestation is cognitive shift. Playing with life. Playing with being alive. Static matter, dynamic activity, 
strategic existence all this three has no boundary you are one with it you are alive in everything everything listens to you everything decides as you want power manifestation is cognitive shift raising your frequency not work now let's understand who is parameshiva bhagwan himself has beautifully explained the parameshiva in all of us parameshiva does manifestation maintenance rejuvenation pulling out of delusion and liberation he resides in his supreme parama shiva swarupa as ajomuha aradomuka anban beyond form formlessness his parama shiva swarupa that parama shiva swarupa manifests with this five faces as sada shiva tatpurusha vamadeva ahora satyojata ishana five faces he manifests and does the panchakritya srishti manifestation stiti sustenance samhara rejuvenation trobava pulling out of delusion anugraha liberation understand he does all these five job through these five faces now listen carefully tatpurusham vamadevam satyojatam ahoram ishanam this five faces das panchakrityas each face each dimension is not just one f a c e face p h a s e face it's not just f a c e p h a s c -E. understand the creation not just creation getting created even sustenance need to be created destruction need to be created and pulling out of delusion need to be created liberation need to be created then create creation manifestation need to be maintained maintenance stiti itself need to be maintained destruction samhara the rejuvenation need to be sustained maintained when it is happening pulling out of delusion through bhava need to be maintained when it is happening and anugraha liberation need to be maintained when it is happening those micro milliseconds when it is happening so understand satyojata murti as five phase ishana murti as five phase vamadeva murti as five phase agora murti as five phase tatpurusha murti as five phase so tatpurusha murti as is five phase agora murti has is five phase 
Vamadeva Murti has his five face. Satyojata Murti has his five face. Ishana Murti has his five face. All these five Murtis, five five faces put together is twenty five faces of Mahasada Shiva. Bhagwan beautifully explain Parameshiva. Now, who is his divine holiness? Bhagwan Nityananda Parameshivam. Let's hear from Bhagwan himself. Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam, is a reviver of Kailasha, the ancient enlightenment civilization, the great cosmic borderless nation, is an avatar from and is a supreme pontiff of Hinduism. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam, has made signs of our manifestation, yoga, temple based university. For humanity, so which in order of Kailasha led by His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam and Nityananda Order of Monks, Nuns, Hindu diasporas are working for global peace to give superconscious breakthrough to humanity. Nityananda Hindu University, world's largest with extended campus in 150 countries, is collecting, organizing, preserving, time capsuling, decoding, spreading, and reviving 20 million source books of Hinduism and 64 sacred arts, science like Ayurveda, music, dance, sculpting, astrology, Vastu and many more. His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam is 293rd Guru Vaha Sannidhanam of Shamala Pita Sarvanya Pita, ancient apex body of Hinduism and present emperor of Surya Vamsa Surangi Swamrajyam. His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam has survived the worst persecution of multiple assassination attempts on person and character by anti-Hindu elements. Beautifully Bhagwan now explains who is His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Nityananda Parameshivam. Everything is infinitely powerful. You realize your potentiality. You establish yourself in the completion, space of completion. You are God, that's all. All of us are gods. The first experience is that I was able to see everything around me, above me, the whole 360 degree. I realized not only I was able to see, I was able to feel experience the skin of the stone on rock on which I was sitting and the skin of this body both carry me equally in both I exist equally Sanda is a place where the tattvas are taught to you and till it becomes satya, you are supported. Akadas are basically founded by Sadashiva himself. All is ganas, Shiva ganas, exactly the word gana means. In your length, breadth, depth, if you are filled by Shiva, you are Shivagana. All the Shivaganas formed the first Akkada. Later on, much later, Kapilamuni organizes Mahanirvani Akkada. Then, all other Akkadas. Mahamandaleshwar of Mahanirvani Akada, the oldest apex body of Hinduism, I welcome every one of you. Is from original Agamas Yoga Pada, 
the signs very clearly declares sadashiva is very clear manifestation of this powers happen when you experience oneness with sadashiva when you choose your guru the best thing is find a person who is enlightened experience who can play with energy who can directly transmit experience to you and who is in tune with the original shastras the source of the knowledge all the revealed scriptures available about the yoga directly by sadashiva for you to do research study practice question the people who teach the science of our manifestation is a gift to the humanity which is authentic time tested scientific and full proof diksha or the initiation from his divine holiness Nityananda Parameshwar makes the science directly an experience for the initiates. The experience is directly authenticated by the pramanas. The Shastra pramanas, the eternal, unchangeable truth revealed in the source scriptures, the Veda and Agamas. The Apta pramanas, the experience of the rishis, munis, ganas, nainamars, alvars, and siddhars, who are the authority of Hinduism, who are who have scientists. who time tested and verified the science of our manifestation the atma pramanas are the avatar who land on the planet earth to give a super conscious breakthrough to humanity his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram this millenniums avatar personal experience of our manifestation shakshi pramanas are the experience of the millions of disciples devotees and followers initiated into the science of our manifestation by bhagwan himself pratyaksha pramanas or the scientific studies which can be measured measuring the effect of being in the enlightened state nityananda jnana padati for decreasing the weight of the atom power of ashtama shaktis powerful cognition from bhagwan satsang from bhagavad gita decoded universe operates on principle of abundance there is no shortage of anything in the universe when we need we get the trouble is that we are dissatisfied with what we need our wants are immeasurable great masters have said that it is impossible for the universe to fulfill the needs of all the people on the planet but not the wants it is possible sorry it is possible for the universe to fulfill all the needs of all the people on the planet but not what one single person our great greed has no limits may your desire to enrich others give away be limitless may your desire to acquire because become zero you will be amazed at how wealth seeks you bhagwan beautifully says the universe operates on principle of abundance is teaching the principle of abundance there is no shortage of anything in the universe what we need we get the trouble is we are dissatisfied with what we need our wants are immeasurable great masters have said that it is possible for the universe to fulfill all the needs of all the people in the world but not even one wants of the one single person our greeds are no limit may your desires to enrich others and give away be limitless may your desire to acquire becomes zero when you acquire zero and enrich limitless you are amazed how the wealth just starts showering in you with this powerful cognition let's go to shastra pramana 5.76 to 78 maranam ghatya de tena सकेना घाध्य तस्पर सिद्धे अणिमाधिगु 
Shastra Pramanas are the eternal, unchangeable truth revealed in the source scriptures. Shastra Pramana from Shiva Samhita 5.797678, Bhagwan Parameshiva says, Death is eaten by him, he is eaten by none. He manifests the highest powers of such as Anima, Lagima, Mahima, etc. The Vayu wind energy moves equally throughout his body. The juice of his body also increases, Rasa Vriddhi. The nectar executing from the eternal lotus, Akasha, also increases in him. Bhagavan beautifully says how we possess and how we have more and more desire and greed. Even the whole cosmos who, which can fulfill every single person cannot fulfill a single person who has desire because it is limitless. When we enrich limitless and desire zero, we attract the ultimate wealth. Bhagavan beautifully says how Adi Shankara, when he went for begging for his food, Bhiksha, and he went and asked for his Bhiksha to a lady where she did not have anything except one gooseberry, and she knows the custom that she cannot send him away without giving anything. She went and offered this one gooseberry and said, sorry, this is all I have left in my whole house. Here it is. And when she gave that and simply Adi Shankara downloads and just sings on Kanagadara Sostram, which he had never heard of. All he knows is Lakshmi God will help. And simply she comes and showers golden gooseberry on that lady in that lady's house. And Shankara just manifests that reality just as a child, very small child. It's such a beautiful thing how wealth can shower by understanding how we live. He is not possessing anything in his life, but he can get showered by gold. But he does not take a gold and goes. He just takes that one gooseberry only and goes. That is the difference between how he knows that whatever this worldly thinks is not real. Whatever showering we have and whatever is given is only given for the for us to start living and getting more inspired to be as Parameshiva. The, all the reason everything is given to us to is realize our space of Parameshiva. The very question why we uh, human body is given to us is to realize I am Parameshiva. If that becomes the ultimate integrity and ultimate thought current of every action that is taken is only from the context that I am Parameshiva, I'm going to manifest the Parameshiva space. I'm going to live that space Parameshiva and experience the space of Parameshiva. Simply, Bhagavan says, we'll be showered because of the integrity and authenticity of just contributing and enriching and desireless. The only desire is to be Parameshiva. Then he takes care of every desire that is required, which needs to be fulfilled. Very powerful cognition. With such powerful cognition, let's go to Apta Pramana. Apta Pramana from Mahabharata Book 3, Vana Parva. So here in this, Indra. Indra, this is about the power of decreasing the water in the vessel or decreasing the size of the atom. Indra made Vajra out of Maharishi. Didachi bone, Dadichi's bones, and found that Trikasuras are, and with the that vaj, Vajra, he killed 
Vitrasura. As soon as he was killed, his predator, Kalakaya, ran away and hid in the ocean. The Devatas again had a problem to find him because of the sea is so vast that they could not find them. At last they got, they went to Brahma and Brahma went to Vaikunda where Lord Vishnu asleep. So Brahma asked the way to kill them. Lord Vishnu said, Brahma, the demons were really so mighty and rigid. They would be killed if the ocean, vast ocean is dried up. And for this, Agastya Muni was perfect person. So they, Indra and gods, came to Maharishi Agastya and prayed for drinking whole ocean. Agastya Muni was ready and drank the whole sea in front of all the gods, Devatas, and found the Asuras and killed them. Such a amazing possibility of drinking whole ocean. How Bhagavan said, the cosmos is ready to fulfill each and everyone's desire. Agastya, living as the greatest Muni, could do anything of making anything as reality, drinking the whole ocean and making the ocean happen for Lord Vishnu. Okay, this is the Apta Pramana. We'll go to the Atma Pramana. Atma Pramana are Leelas of Bhagavan. Mavara will take us a day of completion and enriching. We will start our day. We will start our day, our week with enriching. So all the devotees, disciples, even if you are not doing Nirahara Samyama, today you will live in liquid diet till tomorrow morning satsang. Every Monday, traditionally, once sun sets, you can eat. I think you can follow the same thing. You don't need to wait till tomorrow morning satsang. Till the sun set. The day is considered from sunrise to sunset in Vedic tradition. So, after the sunset, you can have what you want to. But whole day you will be having only liquid diet or nothing. Maybe all the people from North America, you can do it from Monday morning to Monday evening, that's all. In North America, even in the night, if you don't eat, that's a fasting. <laughs> because their food habits have become so bad. <laughs> All right. Today's subject for Nitya Satsang is enriching. I'll expand on enriching. Please understand one of the main reasons why human beings suffer, they constantly think about themselves, which is a wrong cognition. Please listen. You create a very wrong, inadequate cognition about yourself. Like, I am the victim in the life. I am gone. Everyone is there to destroy me. Everyone is my enemy. Some inadequate or wrong cognition you create about yourself. 
and go on thinking about the same whole day in and day out that is the main reason why you suffer please understand the stand you take about you the inadequate cognition or wrong cognition gets more and more strengthened please listen gets more and more strengthened by you thinking more and more based on that self center you can be self centered if your self is in the right cognition if your self is established if you have a right cognition about yourself you can be self centered nothing wrong but unfortunately you have inadequate and wrong cognition based on that cognition you go on being self centered that is where the problem starts please listen you have a wrong cognition or inadequate cognition about yourself from that cognition you go on be self centered it is like a there is one bad cell cancerous cell in your body but you infuse all your energy and growth everything around that cell what will happen one cell becomes cancer same way one wrong cognition or inadequate cognition if you go on thinking about that from that self centered you become self destructive the way you walk talk live think everything is corrupted please listen selfishness self centeredness is one of the biggest disease with which indians especially hindus are suffering please internalize self centeredness is not wrong if you have a adequate cognition right cognition about yourself but it is terribly wrong seriously wrong if you have inadequate cognition wrong cognition about yourself i have a story there is this good old barber in a city in us one day a florist goes to him for a haircut when he is about to pay the barber the barber replies i'm sorry i can't accept any money from you i am doing community service the florist is so happy and leaves the shop next morning when the barber goes to open his shop there is a thank you card and a dozen of roses waiting at his doorstep sent by the florist this event is repeated few times the florist comes gets a haircut tries to pay this guy says no i won't accept money i am doing community service the next day the florist will send a rose flowers and a thank you note this event repeated till an indian software engineer goes for a haircut maybe working in microsoft after the haircut when he tries to pay him the barber tells him i am sorry i cannot accept money from you i am doing community service the next morning when the barber opens his shop 
what do you think will be on the steps dozen indians waiting for a free haircut <laughs> please understand <laughs> no, it is true come on don't try to be offended even if you are offended truth is the truth i will not go because i don't want to hair cut i have a, i have decided to grow the long hair otherwise if i have the habit of hair cut even i will try to go there <laughs> that is the way we are brought up what to do <laughs> that is the way we think what to do <laughs> really manushya ki sabse badi samasya hai please listen chaitanya one of the great devotee and the great incarnation who created the gaudiya vaishnava sampradaya in his verses he beautifully describes o krishna you are the nectar with which i can break the poisonous effect i can break the poison i took which constantly functions based on i i i i i kabir one of the great saint from north india he sings in his couplets the life centered i i i is the hell the life centered you 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 is heaven ramakrishna gives a very beautiful story the beauty of ramakrishna is he will give such a village examples which you can literally see next your next door every day ramakrishna is the man who talks in the language of next door like how the heroes and heroines become very popular only if they have the next door girl next door boy look same way ramakrishna is a great orator because all his stories are next door language which you can hear around all his examples are next door languages next door examples he gives a very beautiful example a calf it shouts hum hum means me me so it is beaten made to work in the agriculture field and tortured till death after death in the leather the skin they will make the drum if you beat the drum that will say tuhi 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 till you start say changing the tone from me 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 to you 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 will be tortured <laughs> if you understand bengali only you can understand this <laughs> example it's a very beautiful example as long as you think go on thinking me 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 you will be tortured tortured to death you will experience 
and you will live in hell one guy told his woman that he loved her so much that he would go through hell for her they got married and now he is going through the hell <laughs> same way as long as you think me 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 life is hell i tell you the one and only solution whether it is your problem of having a headache or your problem of relationships your problem of poverty your problem of feeling alone your pro- problem of feeling discontent or even if your problem is what is this i am not getting enlightened or i am not getting having any extraordinary mystical powers the only solution for all this problem is enrich enrich yourself and others i tell you when you start enriching you will have extraordinary miracle powers with you please understand with my integrity authenticity and responsibility i am talking to you as a person who is born with ashtama siddhis please listen i am talking in a national channel and an international web channel i am uttering the words very responsibly as a person who is born with ashtama siddhis i tell you the science of siddhis is enrich others beautiful apta pramana how bhagwan is born with ashtama siddhis here shakshi pramanas are all around the world manifesting all these powers and demonstrating and sharing with the world and enriching all of us manifesting powers of ashtama siddhi decreasing the quantity of the water here she says in the kailash courtyard how she experienced the whole thing worked on increasing the temperature of the water i really excited because i was just full fun filled so she has two cups and she started doing and chanting the maha vakya with oneness with swami ji and waited for the temperature of the water to increase approximately 3 minutes swami ji said put the finger in the cup i put the finger in the cup and immense my finger in the water approximately 30 seconds i felt the energy of the in the water and i said great it must be healing heating then uh, it felt like part of my finger that has had been under water was now exposed to air the water is decreasing i turned the light on and looked down the cup the cup had water decreased what i was beyond amazed and speechless i looked at the picture such a gratitude to parameshiva overtook me i still am amazed thank you swami ji so beautiful that how she experienced now let's go to the instruction to understand how to manifest this power and pratyaksha pramana pratyaksha pramana scientific studies what can be measured measuring the effect of being in enlightenment state dead lifting power lifting exercises can be harmful to shoulder lower back and knee injuries from muscle strain tendons chronic to fractures the deadlift exercise utilizes the entire posterior chain in the body and is considered one of the most effective full body muscle building exercises however deadlifts can pose a risk of spinal damage deadlifts place force on the spinal disc especially when done with heavy weight if you perform these exercises with a rounded or arched back the amount of disc compression increases substantially 
and can result in bulged discs, pinched nerves, or other issues. Preparation and step-by-step -step personal coaching are necessary for novice who wants to lift heavy weight. Charts are given to indicate the average weight one can lift depending on the gender, height, weight, and level of training. Manifesting powers of Ashtamaha Shaktis, power of increasing the size of others. Mahima, how a balasans from Nityananda Gurukul can effortlessly uplift double the weight he should be able to lift for his height, weight, and level of training. Manifesting power of Ashtamaha Shaktis, powers to lift huge weights effortlessly. Also known as Lagima, power to make things lighter. The Shastra Pramana, the direct words of Maha Sadashiva, where Sadashiva reveals how this Shakti manifests. It is from the Paushkar Agama, Vidyapada, Patala 6. Lagi ma shigrage vitvam Pankadha vapya majjanam Mahima vyapya chasthanam Brihadendriya dadribihi You can take on the stage now. Yes, so first we have Srinivas, you'll be stepping up. Uh, and we'll take your weight first and see where you're at and then we'll compare that number against the lift that you'll be doing. So if you want to just quickly step up and take your weight. As you can see, Srinivasan Maharaj, Arudra of the Nityananda Order, is stepping up on the weighing scale. And you will be seeing, as you can see, he is 54.1 kgs. So 54 kgs. And on the bar, as I mentioned earlier, I got a little excited talking about this, is 115 kgs. And just to put this into perspective, I actually haven't lifted this weight in over three years. So what he's going to be doing is something I haven't trained and done in three years. And so I'm excited to see this. What, what he'll be comparing is up against, and again, this is very logical and there's a lot of numbers involved. He's lifting roughly 120 pounds more than somebody that is a beginner, which is completely insane because I'm assuming he hasn't been training if <laughs> I don't know how long he's been training for, but I don't think he's been training very long. And so uh, 120 pounds more than a beginner, he'll be lifting, and he's lifting a weight that I haven't lifted in over three years. So I'll let him take this. So way. that's great. Srinivasa Maharaj, you can come up in the front. You can see Srinivasa Maharaj is getting into the position. As you can see, Srinivasa Maharaj has lifted. I don't mean to be a, a stickler for form and all this, but when it comes to training, form is everything. You're going to get much more power if you have like exact form and I can say his form was not correct but what it, it didn't matter that's what's shocking is that you were able to somehow muster the strength without having the correct base and, and Srinivasan Maharaj is just 54 kgs and he has lifted over 115 kgs just like that without any effort Setting up for the power of changing the water in the cup, camera, and timestamp, Nyananshan, a scale, a weighing machine, or a measuring app on the phone to measure the vessel of water. Let us set up the camera. Download the timestamp app. Click on the video. Ensure the time is seen on the screen clearly. Make sure the camera is facing you. Please make sure. It's in a bright and a clear place, quiet place, and it's a wide angle view for viewing the vessel, yourself, everything very clearly. And there's no additional items next to it. These are very special moments. Take a few minutes to set up the camera. This is the way, if you would like to place the object on the weighing scale or a phone with an app, please download the app, which is shown here. You can. Download this in a Play Store. 
and you can use this app. If sometimes it gives a range, you can make mark the range and use it clearly with this app. And let's go to the guidelines. Guidelines start recording with turning on the video recording. Apply the Nyan engine on third eye. Bring the awareness to your third eye. Have the vessel with water it marked the level of the water which is to be marked on the vessel gaze intensely on the vessel in front of you through the third eye change the level of the water in the vessel it can either decrease if it decreases that will be the best if it increases it's okay you have started manifesting check the level of the water that it has decreased uh, five points to ten points 10 units lower centimeters lower than what you started with then you have completely manifested if you see small changes or kundalini rays or heat in your body you have started manifesting the power start celebrating all that simply you will start manifesting from your depth verify the video is recorded properly and share the video with the powerful cognition to others and listen to others experience of this manifestation Power manifestation instructions. Let's sit straight, the head, neck, and back in a straight line so that beautifully the Kundalini energy raises to the Agnya where the manifestation happens. Usually, we are, our, our um, awareness is on Muladhara, Swadhisthana, and Manipuraha, where navel center, your below navel center. Here, bringing the awareness to your third eye. And sitting straight will give us amazing possibility of power manifestation. Now let's understand few words that Bhagwan is repeatedly using. Shakti Pada, oneness, be unclutched, initiation. So here first we will see in Bhagwan's words what is Shakti Pada. Let me give an introduction about what is Shakti Pada process. Please understand. You would have seen or heard about how the chicken sits on the egg and hatches. Of course, in the modern countries, this does not happen. Machine sits on the egg and <laughs> our egg sits on the machine. In those days, originally when Hens and chicken were getting produced on the planet Earth. The hen used to sit on the chicken and hen used to sit on the egg and the <laughs> chicken will come out of the egg. See, same way, Sadashiva, sitting means the ultimate cosmic energy sitting on the individual soul and making the individual soul into cosmic energy is Shakti Pada. Hence, sitting on the egg and making the chicken happen, same way. You may think, how come, what is going on here? That hen is only sitting just by the body heat of the hen, hen the egg is becoming chicken. Because no surgery is done and nothing goes inside. It's only sitting. Same way, it is just sitting. It's only the presence, the Shakti Pada, makes the individual soul into cosmic soul. Beautifully, Bhagavan explained Shakti Pada. How individual soul becomes cosmic soul, and let's listen to initiation. You see, let me explain the initiation. Initiation is the process beyond your intellectual understanding. The transmission of lamp happens. Now you understood something intellectually. There is something which is not understood which can't be transmitted through the words that is transmitted that's what we call initiation 
sometimes i tell you know, people but unless you are initiated the techniques do not create the result the reason is you do not grasp completely whatever is expressed through words initiation is like a it just transmits whatever need to be transmitted beyond logic and beyond words people ask me why to wear this bracelet or this mala and all those things this all will remind you why bracelet in the hand it will remind you before eating did you meditate is a constant reminders before eating let you be reminded did you do the meditation that is why this bracelet that is why this mala that is why this external things sometimes this external things does a big job of reminding you constantly that is why take the help of external things also nothing wrong people ask me why we can uh, just be spiritual without having external things if you can really you are welcome but i don't think anybody who speaks in that way is successful i have never seen people becoming successful avoiding the external things just having internal things and it is just nice way of escaping from yourself <laughs>
test on some. You take a quantum sum and experience the truth awakening in you. The oneness space is the most beautiful space that Bhagavan himself is explaining how we are ferocious beyond the tiredness and boredom, we can experience the space of oneness and be unclutched. Oneness is not imagination. Oneness is not visualization. Oneness is not even just declaration. It is your existence. And an idea which is you is oneness. The idea which has become part of your very space which does not tire you or bore you by the passage of the time is oneness. Mahadeva says in the Agama, Sadashiva beautifully explains in the Agama, Kala, Yama cannot tire you or bring boredom to you if something becomes your space. Devi achieved the blissful state and union with Mahadeva on Shivaratri day because our space became oneness. Anything which brings tiredness or boredom has not yet become your space. If living in this body brings you tiredness and boredom, you are not going to be living in this body forever. When that becomes too much, you are going to drop it and move ahead. If you want to be in oneness forever, it should become part of your space. Means you should become ferocious with you and break this very tiredness and boredom. Only when you deal you with the ferociousness, you break the tiredness and boredom. With that ferociousness, you need to make oneness as your space. Anything stands as an imagination in the length level, visualization in the breadth level, declaration in the depth level. If you open your time with ferociousness, it just sinks into space level. With this ferociousness, the time layer in you opens and the oneness from imagination to visualization to declaration, it becomes your space the way of existence. The most important, Bhagavan says, being unclutched, understanding the Shaktipada, the oneness space, and chanting the Mahavakya. The Mahavakya, the power of the Mahavakya, pushes you into the higher states of consciousness. Here Bhagwan himself explains how we can experience the Shaktipada raised higher consciousness through Mahavakya. It's one of the very important revelation by Sadashiva. All the electronic equipments work when the electrons are made to vibrate. The that happens by the light. When the electricity is supplied, the light particle vibrates, the electronic equipment starts working. Just like that, the spiritual power and the umbilical cord connection, spiritual umbilical cord connection between you and me, it works with sound particle. For example, my integrity with the cosmos, Sadashiva, Mahasadashiva, 
it reverberates in certain level of frequency when you are integrated to me you also start reverberating in the same frequency if your integrity goes down that is when you start connecting with me only as a manager or this organization head or your purvasham father mother your connection with me goes down to the lower level if the integrity gets reduced i was wondering what is the way we can bring people to the higher integrity immediately and the feeling connection so they start manifesting the powers they start staying in the space of sadashivatva sadashiva revealed a beautiful sound i can tell you this is like a password at any point if you are not able to bring yourself to oneness you are a little shaken disturbed or for some reason you are not able to bring yourself to oneness this is like a password you type whether your mind feels connected or not the energy will start flowing in you beyond the depth dimension you see all mind oscillation restlessness all mental idea based feeling connected or not feeling connected is only length breadth depth level not in the space level but this sound will straight infuse energy from the space level like for example if the power goes off automatically the generator will get switched on and the power supply will be going on so end result will not be lost whether government power supply or the generator power supply end result will not be stopped so whenever you feel little that one as is you are not catching it just feed this password immediately the oneness will open up and you will start manifesting the powers energy and the whole space will shift it is directly from sadashiva it's a beautiful sound i don't even want to say it's a mantra it is not even a mantra because there is no meaning in it you can't derive a meaning for it it just flashed like a password for all the initiations i am giving one single password for all the initiations i am giving and the initiations i gave i am giving i will be giving for all that this is like one password don't even repeat like a mantra just feed like a password and it will just open up your whole being will open up listen carefully it starts with the vibration o listen and then repeat om very deep om nityananda nityananda maha sada shivo so bhagwan gave beautiful explanation of how you can be in shakti pada visualize parameshiva who has come down as bhagwan nityananda parameshivam from kailasha remembering parameshiva in your third eye again and again bringing your awareness to your third eye simply makes you manifest powers absolute unclutching how bhagwan said the neutral zone nothing ever touches the screen like same way the movie does not touch the screen whether it is happening in ferocious or any soft view beautiful nothing touches the screen be unclutched like the screen and to experience the state of parameshiva your inner space being completely unclutched complete completion to experience the space of parameshiva inside us the complete completion happens when we are in tune with parameshiva that everything is redundant and irrelevant the essence of completion is irrelevant nothing matters in your life because everything is complete 
completion. Oneness with Paramashiva, how Bhagavan said, in ferocious breaking the boredom and tiredness, just being in the space of oneness with Paramashiva to manifest the powers of Paramashiva. Tyaga, as Paramashiva is your only strength, now declaring complete integrity with Bhagavan to experience the being of Paramashiva. How Bhagavan said, chanting the Mahavakya raises your frequency and that is your only strength to manifest any reality. Being in this beautiful space of Paramashiva, you can experience such a beautiful space, state, powers and becoming the being of Paramashiva, manifesting whatever you want. Now, you will be manifesting the powers, watching the oneness capsule and chanting the Mahavakya, Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. We will be playing the Mahavakya and the oneness capsule for you to manifest powers. At end of the Mahavakya, you can start with the verification and sharing and causing. Thank you.
ಪರಂ ಪರಮ ಶಿವಂದ ಪರಮ ಶಿವಂದ ಪರಮ ಶಿವಂ ಪರಮ ಶಿವಂ ಪರಮ ಶಿವ ಪರಮ ಶಿವ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವರ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಡೇ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಅಮೃತ ಪೋ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಬನ್ನಿ ಓಪನ್ ಅಪ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಪ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಪರಮ ಶಿವ ಓವರ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ the power in all of us that is om jnanandan paramashivam om jnanandan paramashivam om jnanandan ಪರಮ ಪರಮಶಿವಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವಂ ಪರಮಶಿವಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವಂ ಲೆಟ್ ಪರಮ ಶಿವ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಅಮೃತ ಪೂ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಬನ್ನಿ ಓಪನ್ ಅಪ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಪ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಪರಮ ಶಿವ ಓವರ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ದವರ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವರ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದ ಪರಮ ಶಿವಂ ಪರಮಶಿವಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವಂದ ಪರಮಶಿವಂ ಪರಮಶಿವಂದ 
Let the Amrita go. Let the Vanni open up. Manifest in all of us. Let the Vanni open up. Let the Vanni open up. Let the Vanni open up. Overflow, manifest the power in all of our third action. Paramashivam Yanam <laughs> Verification for change, decreasing the water in the cup. Verifica, verify that no video editing is done on the Shakti Avishkarna video, Shakti Pramana videos. Make sure the video is not stopped or restarted in the process of manifestation. Videos are having the timestamp with the wide angle view. Not to touch the vessels during the power manifestation. Do not tamper the scale or weighing scale or measuring app. Do not add or remove any external item into the water or the cup or the vessel or the weighing machine during the process. Authentically, five to 10 units of change should be seen visibly for the manifestation. Thank you so much for manifesting these powers. Beautiful. We are at the end of the power manifestation, but most important part of the power manifestation. Here, we are going to share all that you have manifested with the social media groups. Here, we have Sri Kalasha Kotiyar Manifesting Power Groups. Thousands of people are part of that. And you can share there and you can post your powerful cognition and the videos. The link is tinyurl.com slash power manifestation. It is at the left corner of the page. You can click on it and you can post your beautiful experience in the power manifestation group. Why sharing and causing is very important part of power manifestation. Bhagwan beautifully exp explains that sharing is pulling us out of delusion and causing is liberating us. We are the ones who need to start experiencing the higher states of reality, how we need to exist. Beautifully, Bhagwan explains when you are sharing with others the ultimate beautiful multidimensional logic your brain rewires into the higher space of consciousness the turiya tita state again and again when you experience even a little bit you share with the world your experience becomes reality same thing when you cause others to come and get initiated for higher reality you are caused into the higher purpose the ultimate reality bhagwan says extreme causing extreme power manifestation is extreme causing so beautifully he explains how we 
our strength is declared on Paramashiva, the power manifestation happens exactly in tune to that. And sharing with the world, continuously reiterating ourselves, the experience that we had from the powerful cognition and manifesting the space of Paramashiva, the state of Paramashiva, the beings of Paramashiva, we become Paramashiva. Go on sharing and causing, which is the most important part of how you have experienced your reality. When you go to a temple, we pray and we see that beautiful experience happen in us and then share with the world that how amazing the temple experience has manifested as your reality. Same way, when you manifest powers, when you share with the world, it becomes more and more the depth cognition of you and you will be experiencing more powers. Even if you're manifested very small, it does not matter the quantity, Bhagavan says, the quality is important. If it is authentic, please go ahead and share with the world. Do not doubt, have self-doubt, self-denial, self-hatred, come and block anything. Experience the ultimate in deep seeking and gratitude. Bhagavan manifest in you with a deep prayer that asking Bhagavan to make this reality as your existential reality. With that, let's end with the Purna Mantra. Thanking Bhagavan for all these great experience. We have come to the end of the Power Manifestation course and we end with the Purna Mantra. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purna Purnamadashyate Purnasya Purnamataya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Tat Sat Sarvam Bhavate Sri Nityanda Parmashim Padukar Panamastu Om Nityanandam Thank you for participating in the Jnana Patati, Nityananda Jnana Patati course. Please go ahead and select more power manifestation and every day experience the ultimate reality for yourself. Nityananda. Om Nityananda Paramashivuham <laughs>